Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Inos Function. In this video, we are going to see what would be the range for Nifty and Bank Nifty this week. How we can capture 600 to 700 points in Bank Nifty and 300 to 400 points in Nifty. So as per the FI data, the last two sessions, they have taken a bearish bet. So we will see a, a strategy to capture, to follow their footprints and define a, a risk and reward for that particular strategy. So in this uh, strategy, what we are going to uh, see is, you can take three kind of position. You can take a naked buy at a specific point, which I'm going to tell in this video, where uh, the put options premium, which is trading at 10 or 20 might go to 80 or 100 rupees. There could be a potential for your capital to uh, three to four times with a stop loss of around just 50 points in the spot itself. So based on that, you can take any options. So that is the magic of this strategy. How uh, we based on the past data, I have tried to uh, analyze and uh, come to a conclusion how this week would be. So once you see the chart, you will get a clear idea. So before going to the topic, if you're a beginner and would like to open a DMAT account, I have given the link in the description of this video. You can use that link to open an account and get all the courses that you are going to see now similar type of courses uh, in our uh, free of cost in our website powerpango.com you can watch up after opening an account and get those courses as well so now let's uh, get started on the top so before going to see about our strategies we need to have a view of the market only if you know the view then you can construct some strategy so in order to know the view you need some data right so for that we will rely on the foreign institutional investors data what positions they are taking how we can follow their footprints and how we can make money through their footprints so because they have the money power so that they can move the market in any direction they want so i have opened a sensible website where we can see what are the uh, bets of the fis F foreign institutional investors so here they have taken bearish bets this is on 16 september so uh, for the last two days they are taking negative bets that means the market is going to go down it is already at a particular saturation level okay so that is going to go down so now it will not immediately go down they will not simply uh, you know move the market every day thousand point the last session itself there is a drop of around uh, 700 points in bank nifty uh, 500 to 600 points in bank nifty and as well nifty also uh, came down to 300 points or 400 points so for the next day immediately they will not move the market down how they will play we will see how they will play the markets in the next two days then Wednesday what we what they will do how we can take position and we how we will construct a strategy so as per the FI data we know that they have clearly taken a, um, a put option they have bought put options and the call option they have bought is very less they have clearly bought the put options they might have they will also buy call option just for hedging purpose but their main idea is they have bought lot of put options so now what FIA will do is they will not bring down the market immediately already on Friday they bought down bank nifty by 500 to 600 points and nifty by 300 points so now they will move the market and keep the market in consolidation for the next two days that is Monday and Tuesday the bank nifty is expected to trade in the range of 40,200 to 40,500 so this is the range in which Monday and Tuesday markets will trade that is it will try to come to this point I will just uh, open the 15 minutes chart and uh, we will see so this is a 15 minutes chart so I will quickly draw so 40,000 So I will quickly 40,800 uh, is currently 40,200. So this is the bottom 40,000. So this is where the market will 40, uh, between 40,200 uh, here it will take support. And then again it will on uh, Tuesday again there can be a gap down and it can trade in this in this range for next few days. Then what ha what will happen on Wednesday is suddenly it will break 40,000. 460 or 500 and it will break and it will go all the way to a 40,850 from there immediately it will put a double top and it will come down like this so this is our view this is how the previous when the, whenever there is a big downfall uh, this kind of events actually occur 
they will first bring down the market one day two days consolidation two and a half days actually two and a half days consolidation then on uh, wednesday before the expiry afternoon uh, we will be all uh, tired that the market is still consolidating suddenly they will move the market in opposite direction from there there can be a double top and suddenly it will move 600 to 800 points so based on this view what we are going to do a construct a strategy so uh, what we are expecting the market to come down to for 39800 okay using that i will go to you go to opstra bank nifty strategy builder here you can see options under strategy builder then you go to options choose the expiry which you are planning so i am expecting the market to come down until here 39800 so i will take that as uh, 39800 as uh, this thing i am going to sell this so you can do this strategy or you can go and buy put when the market touches 40,850 and you can keep a stop loss of 50 points and you can buy out of the money options like uh, 39,000 or 39,500 or 39,800 so 39,800 uh, let us see what is the put option so now first I will construct the strategy then uh, you, uh, then we will see how you can take naked buy and uh, play with that so I am going to sell 13,800 call and put at the same so this is at 157 ok so I have sold 39,800 is a sell it's not a buy so I so I'm going, I'm going to construct an iron fly strategy I am expecting the market to come here so when it's expired at this place I get 32,474 uh, of the market currently market is 4776 uh, if it comes here my profit is there if it's expired but I am exposed to unlimited risk so I cannot take that because overnight market can gap up or gap down anything happen due to global forces or global news or anything so we need to play with uh, defined risk strategies so at this break even where I'm, my loss is going to start this is the break even point so here you can see 38,500 and 41,100 at these two points I will go and buy a call and put option on the upside which is 41,100 I am going to buy a call option to protect my unlimited risk to limited see here my unlimited risk has been uh, converted to limited risk ok so like I said uh, on the we will uh, protect further on the downside also 38500 is the place where my last started so I am going to buy a 30 rupees put option as an insurance now you can see my profit and loss both are defined and my max profit is at this point which is 38500 23365 on the uh, down on the upside when market crosses 38 uh, 40000 850 our loss will be 40,000 our loss will be 1800 our loss will be 1800 to 2000 rupees 40,820 or 850 on the downside if the market breaches 38 uh, 38 850 my uh, t plus 0 will be t 200 so actually my star loss will start at 430 rupees 38675 so I have a downside I have covered at 2000 points upside I am just uh, I have a small uh, risk actually because my view is negative based on the view I am going to take suppose if my view goes wrong I have a defined uh, risk strategy so that is the idea so my max profit is 23365 the market comes up and my max loss on expiry is 9000 but I am not going to keep until the max law on expiry day before that if it breaches that level I will try to adjust or we will uh, close the trade and take a different position okay so that is the main idea so in this instead of taking this what you can do is if the market comes at 40,850 you can buy a put options which are um, at, uh, out of the money put options and it has the potential to go three to four times but uh, stop loss is very important 40,900 will be your stop loss so now uh, we will quickly see in 15 minutes chart so what you can do on the uh, Monday and Tuesday is you can deploy uh, 
short strangle or short straddle strategies and capture the time decay can employ the short straddle itself because it's not going to go a big range for the next two days that could be a definitely some kind of consolidation because uh, they have taken negative bets already market moved down to some extent so this is the strategy that you can also uh, you know this is obviously free of cost this option options analytics this is obviously free of cost you can just uh, uh, take a look at this and draw yourself different strategies and uh, make yourself comfortable with this kind of strategies i hope you got a similar understanding similarly in uh, nifty same could happens in nifty also uh, next two days consolidation there then there can be an up move double top you can also uh, watch the price action pattern if there is a double top at the uh, in bank nifty at 850 then you can whenever the uh, this thing breaks the double top then you can go and take a position so like here you can see this is the double top i will show you which is the double top so this is the double top whenever this breaks this neckline you can take entry if you are unsure of uh, whether the market is going to go up break from here if only if it breaks here you can take an entry and you can book some target so you can uh, with this strategy you can also mingle the price action and play uh, as you like so thank you uh, i hope you got a fair idea of how the market could be this way so our view can also go wrong when it goes wrong you um, employ strict risk management for each lot define your risk and play so thank you bye bye